Hey there, you guys. That I was going to come in today and use some of these things to try to um, make a little piece. So this is what is happening. I have my um, Pennywise painting that you remember I'm working on, and I was um, I have this balloon because I mean what's a clown without a balloon right and it's a huge piece of cardboard and um, I don't want it to bend when I put it on that little piece so um, what I have is um, a little sample piece that I want to practice on before I start on the big piece but as I was about to get ready to make this video the UPS guy came and he delivered this piece that is going to go on Pennywise my clown now some of you know me or maybe you just heard me talking about how I have a fear of clowns and so I've been whoo that looks nice I've been um, practicing um, or trying to get over my fear of clowns by painting them and Pennywise is my third one he is a very scary clown and so I thought that he would be the best one to paint and so this little piece right here, I had to outsource to a dear friend of mine to, um, to make for me because uh, my, my sewing machine is in the storage. And so um, I sent her the fabric and um, she made this for me. This is the collar. For Pennywise. Isn't that great? Oh my goodness. Because I'm a texture girl and I like mixed media and you know 3D and stuff. I had her make Pennywise collar. Isn't that awesome? Oh I'm so excited to put it on him. So excited. And so this just came like literally five minutes ago. This came, and um, this is what's going to go on my Pennywise painting. So um, it is truly a work in progress because there are so many different elements that I want to do. And um, the balloon, because, you know, he's a clown, and so he needs a balloon. Um, that's another one of the elements. So what I want to do... I'm going to um, see if um, I could use these things to thicken up the cardboard so that when I put it on the piece, it will not bend and it would um, it would have some longevity to it. So I didn't want to. Um, trying to plug up the glue gun I didn't want to um, just do it on my big piece and mess it up if it didn't work you know I mean not that I don't have more cardboard but why not practice on a small piece first and then you know test it out on the bigger piece if it works so that's what we're going to do well, that's what I'm going to do. And I thought that you would like to just um, watch with me. So I have this wire. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is put the wire in between the cardboard pieces, right? That's what I'm thinking. And I've been really thinking about this, guys, like... I want this to really work. I have not used um, wire and stuff for a pretty long time. 
Um, but I do sculptures and I use wires and stuff like that in my sculptures. Not this particular wire. This wire is pretty thick, but I do use wire. And so I'm thinking that this would probably be about the same sort of idea as if I was making an armature. And so that's how I'm going to tackle it. Just wrap the wire around it. I'm hoping you guys can see this. Wrap the wire. Whoop, listen to me. Wrap the wire around. Let me cut off a piece. And that'll make it easier. I'm going to wrap the wire around here. Why isn't this fitting? Let's just put it there. And um, we're going to use the hot glue to glue it in there. All right? That's what I'm thinking. We'll use the hot glue to glue it onto there real quick. Or just maybe even the two pieces together. But we'll put this in here and bend that a little bit more. This is my husband's tool. I use this tool just for cutting wire. I never really use it for anything else, but. So, let's see. I want that to be there because I wanted to have the stability all around. Okay. So, we'll put that there. That will be here. And make sure that it can go all the way around so that when I put it on, it's already just formed. All right. A beautiful day out today. I don't know what the temperature was where you guys were, but today was pretty nice. I mean, if you like 103 degree weather, that is. I'm not opposed to it. Hot flashes and all, I still pretty much like it. Okay, I think that's great. Let's just try to bring this down some. It's just kind of sticking up. And then, that can fit in there, and this one can go on top. Okay, so I'm thinking, so I'm thinking. And then, the open part, we will add some newspaper. I have newspaper, or we can add toilet paper with the Plaster of Paris, either or with the Plaster of Paris. So let's just get that glued in. See if this is hot yet. Woo, now you're leaking all over the place. Don't you just love that? The glue just leaks out all over the place. I don't want to burn myself with it. But I do want to put it down. Around the edge, put this baby down on top of it, and then some glue on this piece. not going to be able to know today how it worked because the mixture has to dry. Go, Woo! Dang, that's hot. <laughs> I 
Okay, there we go. It's like a sandwich. Get the hot glue up off of there. So it's not in my way. All right. There we go. I don't need this anymore. And there is our balloon. Okay. So, now that's that's pretty stiff already as it is. But um, then you have all of this. So, what I want to do is try to see if the plaster would would be um, good to put on there. Um, I normally make a mixture when I'm doing... Oh, open the other end first. I normally make a mixture when I'm making my um, sculptures with paper mache clay. But um, I don't have any of that stuff anymore. It's all in storage. And so I didn't want to bother with that. Um, so... What I'm thinking to do is to use the plaster Paris with some water and some newspaper, and then I can put that on top of um, on top of the balloon, and once it's dry, I can paint it. So, when using Plaster Paris, you should first add the water into the cup or whatever it is that you're putting it in, and then add the Plaster of Paris to it so that it can um, be soaked up by the water. And the measurements for it is two parts two parts Paris I believe to one part water and so the trick to it though is to um, not put more than what you can use at a time because you don't have very much of a working time there and that stuff hardens up really fast. So I have this little measuring cup here, like from um, <laughs> um, medicine, and it's like 30 milliliters. So just fill that up with the water, and then I'm going to add plaster of Paris to it, mix it up, rip up some paper, put it on that balloon. And hopefully, hopefully it will work. So um, I'm going to put on a mask. It's a pretty thin mask, but I'm going to put it on because the plaster of Paris is, um, is a powder and it's not really all of that nice to be inhaling and so I'm going to I have my mask on and I want to scoop it because it'll be easier than pouring it let's let's uh powder flying all over the place if I just scoop it Now, if this doesn't work, that's way too much for this little balloon, but it's okay. If this doesn't work, then um, what I'm going to have to do is just use the old, um, the regular method of paper mache that I normally make. I uh, do sculptures. I uh, could as easily just go get a scrap piece of wood from somewhere or just get some wood from Home Depot and add it um, 
use my scroll saw, my jigsaw, and cut a piece of wood. But I'll do that when I have stuff here that I can use, right? Alright, so let's try this. I don't think I'm going to need my glasses. Sometimes I do. So I'm going to take this paper, put it inside that plaster Paris mix. Take some of it off. And we just want to put it on there so that way it's covered. And it will um, make it more durable. That's what I'm trying to do. Once it's dry, it can be sanded, wet sand, but it can be sanded. It can be painted. And hopefully it will be just what I'm thinking. It will work. And then I will do it on a larger scale for my painting. So we shall see, friends. We shall see. This stuff, it doesn't take much time to harden. And when it does, you're not going to have very much use for the, um, the bowl. It's going to be hard inside the bowl. Can you see that? Oh, my word. I'm so sorry. You can't even see. It's going to be hard inside the, the bowl. You're going to have to throw that bowl away. And um, do not wash your hands or utensils or anything down the drain. That is not good, guys. So... I'm just wrapping this around there, trying to cover up as much as I can. And the edges and stuff. And then it'll dry, hopefully by tomorrow. If I put it outside in the morning, I'm sure that San Antonio heat will dry it right up. You see that little part right there still open. Probably have enough on my fingers. Now I can just wrap it. I'm so excited for that collar. Oh my goodness. She did a fine job on it. I knew she would. That's why I sent it to her and asked for her help. Because I knew that she would. And boy, oh boy, Penny, he's going to be sharp. And you know, I mean, I don't think that I can walk up on a clown outside in the street. I'm sure that I'll still be a little apprehensive about them out there but having Pennywise here in the house you know me painting him and bringing him to life it it has helped where I don't I can walk by him and not be afraid not you know when I walk by quickly um I'm still not going to be in a room with him in the dark <laughs> but um yeah, I would say that it is sort of um, helping with my fear of clowns. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that this is as covered as possible back here. So that way, when I go to um, sand it, it doesn't fall apart or anything. 
You can't even really tell that it's a balloon anymore, but I'm sure it'll get its form back together afterwards. And we start to sand it and add the paint and stuff to it. All right. Well, there's that. Now we just have to wait. That's all we can do now is just wait. So I'll let this sit here. And um, hopefully tomorrow I can get that sun out. Maybe this time tomorrow we'll see if it's dry. And uh, we can start the next piece. Hopefully. Because I really... I really would like to add uh, the balloon element to the painting without having to cut a piece of wood. And this is just um, a pizza box. I have pizza boxes from um, my business for shipping paintings and stuff like that. and. So I just cut that up to make his balloon. Just a simple piece of cardboard. And again, I'm going to show you this collar. It's a pretty cool collar. Nice. Can't wait to see it on him. Alright guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you for stopping by and joining with me. And seeing me in my little mess that I'm making, trying to uh, see how things will work for Penny. Um, I'll come back on tomorrow and let you know if it has dried and if we can start the sanding and painting of that practice piece and then move on to the big one if possible. So you guys have a good night. Thanks. Bye.